All right, what's going on, everybody? So I reviewed uh, Sony and Microsoft's E3 conference. Um, so I'm just going to do EA's, uh, Ubisoft, and Nintendo's. I already watched EA's and Ubisoft. So I just got to watch Nintendo's. That just came out today. So don't plan to spend much time on this. Just want to go through the list real quick. So first was Star Wars Battlefront. Highly, highly anticipated game, but what they showed was in, you know, early stages of the game. Uh, not real actual gameplay. It was in-game footage, but not real gameplay yet. But it still looked pretty cool. Looking forward to Star Wars Battlefront. Dragon Age Inquisition. I was never, like, I never really got deep into the past Dragon Age games. But uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to uh, Inquisition. Mass Effect. Uh, I've, uh, Mass Effect is one of those games that I... Uh, you know, I appreciate because I do believe it, you know, it's a great franchise. It's just never really been in my taste. It's not a bad game. I played them, but, you know, it's never really been spectacular to me. But I do re respect the quality of the game itself. Um, The Sims, for anybody who's still a Sims fan, Sim fan, me, I don't really care. Uh, EA Sports UFC. I played the demo and I couldn't really, I really couldn't get into it. My problem with EA Sports UFC was, and maybe it's because I'm a noob and I may sound like a noob, but I, like, there's very, there, there's rarely any game I come across where I have a hard time adapting to the controls. And I felt like the, the controls in, in UF, in this UFC game were just, were, really weren't, you know, uh, they weren't natural. They weren't intuitive. It, it felt like I, I felt like it's something I wrote. What did I say on Twitter? I, I could uh, perform a, a 100 hit um, combo in Marvel easier than I can do some of the simple stuff in UFC. You know, and I don't. You know, it, it's weird. It, it's just I think the movements and the actions in the game they don't match up with the controls. It's like they're awkward. You know, uh, it, it, you got to do. S Press three different uh, buttons in in a in a certain motion, just for one movement, and then you got to remember all the other advanced movements in in the game, and it's just like wow, no. So I guess I'll just wait for Fight Night because Fight Night is my thing. That game, just the movement in Fight Night is way more intuitive and natural. I, I felt like this game was the opposite, so that's why I really couldn't. I really didn't like the demo, and I won't be getting uh, EA Sports UFC, NHL. Don't really care about hockey. Um, PGA Tour, don't really care about golf. Uh, Madden 15, it's Madden. L let's really, come on, let's move on. Uh, uh, it was an RPG called Dawn Gate, it looked alright. Mirror's Edge 2, definitely looking forward to that. I loved the original Mirror's Edge. FIFA 15, uh, you know, I said I was going to give FIFA a try, I still haven't yet. Not really something I care about. And lastly, I believe what they had was Battlefield Hardline, which was heavily scripted. Um, but pretty much the only games on this list I was interested in really impressed me were Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, Mass, Mass Effect, even though I said I'm not really into it, maybe I'll give this one a shot, uh, Mirror's Edge, and Battlefield Hardline. Probably the most interesting things out of those being, probably I would put Mirror's Edge at the top of that, or Star Wars Battlefront. Because Battlefield Hardline, you know, even though I am looking forward to it because uh, Battlefield 4 was just such a huge disappointment to me, because it was a you know, a catastrophe. It was damn near unplayable, and it, I just really couldn't get into it. You know, uh, when I loved Battlefield th 3 and Battlefield 4, was, it was such a disappointment. So that's why I, I am looking forward to Battlefield Hardline, but I'm not really expecting much. You know, I, I feel like it, it can't be that big of a game. You know, I, I just don't. I, I really don't. I think it's just going to be a small scoped spin-off of the Battlefield series. What uh, what we re we really want is Bad Company 3. That's what we really want. Spend spend a good amount of time and bring us a a, a Bad Company 3. Um so yeah, that, that's really it. Uh it was just an okay conference, but that's what I really I never really expected much from EA necessarily. Uh now my Ubisoft uh con conference review that is what really impressed me but that's just flying helicopters around while I'm doing a video just flying helicopters around while I'm doing a video but yeah that's that's normal every year like Ubisoft even though they pissed me off with Watch Dogs they always they they just know what games I like like they just make the games I'm really interested in 
and they definitely had a better conference than Ubisoft. But let's, yeah, but that's all I got to say about EA's press conference. I'm going to move on and do uh, my, EA, my Ubisoft press conference review right after this. So look out for that video, all right? I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.